amazing results with 6.5 PRC load development, an update on the Bergara HMR Wilderness Rifle, and a complete walkthrough of the RCBS Rebel Plus reloading kit, all in this video. So I'm gonna mix things up just a little bit this time. I'm gonna jump straight into a quick recap on some of this 6.5 PRC stuff, and then we're gonna talk about results and then go into my process for low development for 6.5 PRC and check out the complete end-to-end -end process here with the RCBS Rebel Plus kit. So, to quick review, I've got a complete story on this Bergara 6.5 PRC HMR Wilderness Rifle and the Athlon Ares 4.5 to 27 by 50 first focal plane scope with partially illuminated reticle. This is in MOA. This is an absolutely awesome hunting scope set up for long range work. With this rifle in factory form, I've gotten some really great results with Hornady Precision Hunter factory hunting ammunition, 0 0.450 inches for five shots at 100 yards. And that was suppressed. I'm doing all of my shooting with this rifle suppressed that's aimed at low development for hunting because that's how I intend to hunt. This rifle is a great, you know, off the shelf type of setup. Throw a scope on it, get some Hornady Precision Hunter ammunition and you've got sub half MOA performance. And I've had great results with the Hornady 143 grain ELDX bullet that that ammunition utilizes. Took a black bear with it and it just completely dropped that black bear. But with some load development, things have gotten even better. I'm using MagPro. We'll go over the components real quick here. Accurate MagPro. You've seen me use Magnum here on the channel, Ramshot Magnum, similar powder. This looked like the burn rate was slightly more suitable for 6.5 PRC. I was looking at some of the other, other powders that people are using for that particular scenario. A totally new option for 6.5 PRC is this ADV brass. And I'll have to say, I've really been wondering about this because there's not a whole lot of options for 6.5 PRC brass. Creedmoor Sports carries ADG brass. This is very hard to get a hold of. Right now, as you guys know, all of the components are have really long lead times and really bad supply chain issues. Creedmoor Sports was able to hook me up with ADG and they sent me some factory seconds really appreciated getting that in time for the story. And the results show how this set of components performs together. I've also got CCI BR2 primers and I'm using Berger 140 grain hybrid bullets as a starting point. Wanted to be right close to that 143 grain bullet that I had used with the Hornady Precision Hunter ammunition. These bullets are absolutely amazing. They've been a mainstay in PRS competition and I thought, why don't I start with a bullet I know is gonna shoot really, really well, try a powder that I haven't tried before for 6.5 PRC, and then see what kind of results we can get. And you can see here what this process has yielded. I went near 100% case capacity near the upper end of the low data range for powder charge and went in half grain increments shooting groups and looking at the chronograph data. So here we can see at 58 and a half, we're hovering right around an inch. But then when I went to 58, we're down at 0.275. So we're still very close to that quarter MOA number here. And this is just with the first bullet I tried, the first powder I tried, and this brand new ADG brass. Things could definitely pick up a little bit with once fired brass, careful sizing, adjusting bullet seating depth, and trying different bullets. So great results so far. Here's a question for you all. What bullet should I try next? For 6.5 PRC, what would be the most killer, long range, big game hunting bullet? And maybe I'll see if I can get my hands on some of those. So great results with the rifle and scope great results with factory ammunition, and things get a lot better with our hand loads. That's why we reload our own ammunition, right? You get what you want tuned exactly for your rifle. So let's now take a look at the reloading process end to end. I'm gonna use this opportunity to show you all the different components, parts, and pieces that I used from the RCBS Rebel Plus Kit to get the job done.
So here I've got the ADG brass as it comes from the factory. It's really nice that it comes in this box that you can use for loaded ammunition. So we've got brand new brass here and I'm using this Imperial dry neck lube. And the dry neck lube is gonna provide a bit of lube for the expander ball. We're gonna use the expander ball on the sizing die to open up the case neck a little bit so that we have optimal neck tension. So here we have the RCBS Rebel Press. I've got the inline fabrication quick change ultra mount on the Ultimate Reloader bench system. I've got the Hornady 6.5 PRC two die rifle set. We're just gonna go ahead and screw the sizing die in. Now, as I mentioned, we got new brass here and I'm really only using the expander ball. We've got that dry neck lube and that's gonna give us a little bit less friction and cause less galling, those sorts of problems. So I'm just running that expander ball through. It's a lot smoother than when you don't use that dry neck lube. You can actually feel it. There we go, ready for priming. So the next step is gonna to be to prime the cases. This is the hand priming tool from RCBS that comes with the Rebel Plus kit. There's a flip tray, dump the primers in, shake it until they're all oriented correctly, install the appropriate shell holder, and you're pretty much ready to go. Now the Plus kit does come with the, this is a 300 Win Mag shell holder for that case rim. Uh, I grabbed a second one so that I could leave one in the priming tool and one set up in the press so that I don't have to swap them back and forth. And to use the tool, you just kind of orient the primers towards the bottom there, insert the case, and then you can feel the priming really well and you can feel very distinctly when it stops. You notice here, we're also using this universal reloading tray that covers a variety of different cartridges, different sizes on each side and then on each side, multiple case rim sizes covered. That's it. So let me describe the setup that we're gonna use for powder charging here. We've got the all new RCBS Uniflow 3 powder measure with the RCBS stand. This comes with the Rebel Plus kit. I'm using an A&D FX120i scale. This is a precision lab scale. Now the kit does come with a scale that's accurate to about a 10th of a grain, which is perfectly adequate for normal reloading scenarios. But in this case, I'm performing load development. I'm gonna be publishing data and sharing that online. So I wanna make sure that I have that 0.02 grain accuracy for this particular scenario. Now, this scale is sold by Cambridge Environmental. They've got great prices. And if you click on that link in the video description, I'll have a link directly to their product page. In fact, I have a complete video on this scale showing unboxing setup, calibration, and so on and so forth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dispense the bulk charge with the Uniflow 3, and put it on the scale, and that gets us close to 58. As you can see, we're gonna need to trickle less than a grain. So I'm just gonna rotate this. We're gonna get a feel for the speed as we go through this process a few times, and I'm gonna trickle it right up to 58 grains. You see we're stable there. And then we're gonna use the universal funnel. This has got a stepped design, which is really nice. I'm gonna put that right over the case and then dump the powder charge into the case in that way. So I'm gonna go through this process a total of five times. And there we go. All done. So I've got the Burger 140 grain 6.5 millimeter hybrid target bullets ready to roll. We're gonna screw out the Sizer D primer and replace that with the Cedar die. That's the last thing that we need to do is seat our bullets. This is where I appreciate the really open, the wide open fr press frame that you get on the RCBS Rebel. Nice easy seating because we used that expander ball to open up the case net. If you ever get rings right around the ogive of the bullet, 
That can be the seating stem applying excessive force during the seating process. You might wanna look at annealing and or using an expanding mandrel or an expander ball from a standard die to alleviate that problem. There we go. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? So there we have it, a basic run through of my 6.5 PRC load development process and all of the equipment specifics for this particular 6.5 PRC Bergara HMR Wilderness rifle. The performance numbers were absolutely awesome. I showed you the 0.275 inch five shot group. That's for 100 yards. That was achieving a velocity of about 2,940 feet per second on average, and I had an SD on my velocity of 7.8 feet per second. Again, absolutely awesome numbers. One thing I also wanted to mention was when I was talking about powder charging, I really didn't talk about this RCBS2 powder trickler. This is a very flexible setup, and it does come with the RCBS Rebel Plus reloading kit. A couple things I like about it. First is this tube extension that it comes with. As you saw with the AMD FX120i scale, I need that extra reach to reach the pan because it's a large scale and this tube extension does a great job providing that extra reach. Also, we've got the integral adjustable base. It's included, I should say, with the kit. This allows us to dial the height of the tube right over the pan to the exact value that we need. So. I would say that's my preferred combination for this particular scale just because of the flexibility of the tube extension and the adjustable height. ADG Brass did a great job that's available from Creedmoor Sports. The Burger 140 grain hybrid bullets were a great starting point and I'm going to follow that up with these Burger 6.5 millimeter 140 grain elite hunter bullets. This to me is a hunting rifle. I did want to start with match bullets but I'm going to hunt with hunting bullets and I'm expecting similar performance because Burger is all about accuracy and consistency and that's what I've seen so far. I'd love to get your feedback. Do you have questions about the RCBS Rebel Plus reloading kit? Do you have questions about loading 6.5 PRC? Do you have experiences with these products or this cartridge that you want to share? Drop a comment and we'll start a discussion. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe with notifications because I've got a lot more load development, rifle loading, and precision shooting stories coming up. I'm on Patreon. I've got these Ultimate Reloader shirts at the Ultimate Reloader store. And don't forget, the first link in the video description is to an article that has links to all the product pages and a lot more information. Thank you for watching. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.